Okay, so this is going to be a brief overview on the Phantom 2 Vision Plus on how to do an advanced IMU calibration. Uh, this is good if you have crashed your Phantom or sometimes when your Phantom is shipped online um, because it bounces around a little bit, it'll mess up the internal measuring unit, which is inside your Phantom here. And that's the thing that helps it understand what level is. And so uh, it's good that you can plug it in. You'll, you'll notice this if you're flying it and the Phantom is, is drifting a little bit, um, or if when you're doing a, a yaw action, like if you're controlling the rudder on the sticks, if it does a big circle, a uh, big sweeping circle rather than a tight circle. So it could, could need, mean that the internal measuring unit inside the Phantom needs to be calibrated. You do this first by placing it on a smooth, flat surface. Um, you can check your your desk, uh, make sure it's with a bubble level to make sure it's level. And then on the on the front of the Phantom is a little USB port here that you flip up and you use the included USB port. It's also important before you do this, before you turn on your Phantom, that you always remove your lens cap and that you also remove the camera clip. So you just want to be careful so you can let the, uh, the camera float free here. You also don't want to do anything with your props on. Uh, it's a good idea to, to not have your props on should something uh, weird happen. So we're going to plug it into the assistant software here. So once you get it connected, you just simply turn on the battery. You get your tones. You can go to your info here. Uh, the upgrade, this is the section that will show different information if there's a, a firmware upgrade, but what we're interested in is we're looking at the tools because we want to check the IMU, the internal measuring unit. You down here you can see that there's a little basic thing. It says check IMU status, basic calibration. If these two things are grayed out, what the software is telling you is that the, the Phantom is out of calibration and it needs calibration. So you click on the advanced tab, advanced Cali, it'll say, please keep it stationary and level. It can take about five to 10 minutes, please wait. So you click again and it says, make sure that everything is stationary and you don't touch it. So at this point, you're going to make sure that it's a dead level surface, nothing is bumping it or touching it. Here, a lot of times what will happen is, it'll say the temperature of the MC or the main controller is too high. To achieve best effects of calibration, please power off the main controller, cooling for five minutes, and then redo the advanced calibration. Basically, if the thing is anything warmer than room temperature, it's gonna say that message. Just click through it and, and let it go through the, the calibration. So what you can see here is it's, it's gonna make some progress through, and then uh, this can take I mean, most of the times it's about two minutes, so I'll edit out some of the clip here. So there's the final system check. And it's all good. So if we go back to the basic tab, you can see the basic calibration is there, and then it says check IMU status. You can check it. No need calibration, no need for calibration because the calibration procedure can be skipped. That means that it's in good shape. That is how you do an advanced IMU calibration using the Phantom Vision Assistant software. 